color therapy palette number one. White, ivory, baby pink, and neutral gray. Colors have an emotional effect on us. Everyone has a different experience with them. I don't presume to know what your experience is. All I'm doing is putting the colors onto the canvas, hoping to encourage a conversation and open up a dialogue about mental health and mental wellness. We'll be working through the full spectrum, all of the colors. I'm gonna start off by painting the background. All right, this is the second painting for the Color Therapy Collection. Uh, I'll show you my palette. White, baby pink, red oxide, coral, periwinkle, and black. As we continue the color therapy collection, we are moving from the lighter baby pinks and whites. That's moving into the more of the fluorescence and the high chroma key pinks and magentas. So I'll show you the palette. White, fluorescent pink, baby pink, fluorescent red, magenta, lavender, and lemon butter. Sparkles is in the studio and she just pointed out this little spiral. Mm -hmm. And yes, the floor is canvas too.
All right, so this is the fifth palette in the color therapy collection. I'm just mounting the canvas to the spinner, checking the level. The palette is deep blue, Perugian blue, primary cyan, bright blue, sky blue, a darker baby blue, a light baby blue, and a white. This is the sixth palette in the Color Therapy Collection. The colors are Transparent Turquoise, Aqua, Teal, Bright Blue, Baby Pink, and Fluorescent Green. As the color therapy collection continues, we embark on the green palette. And the colors are white, 
emerald, lime green, fluorescent green, teal, light fluorescent green, transparent yellow, green, fluorescent pink, and baby pink. Palette number eight, and the palette is emerald, dark green, green, flow green, pistachio, green gray, sage, charcoal, beige, brown, fluorescent green, fluorescent tangerine, and lilac. This is also the largest palette that we've done yet part of this collection. I'm painting with colors that I would normally not paint with. That makes me uncomfortable and it makes me feel very, you know, like I talk about haters and stuff like that. You know, but, you know, also who's the biggest, you know, hater? It's this, this person inside my head, you know? So that, and that person says, you know, destroy it or it's not good enough or uh, some version of uh, some sort of comment that I might have heard one day and it somehow resonated with me and stuck with me even though I, you know, say that it doesn't affect me and everything like that. And so those voices kind of peek in and everything like that. So, but there's, a, there's another voice and I call it the little voice and the little voice um, you know, that's the voice that says keep it, and that's the voice that, um, you know, is that, is that inner child that, uh, you know, that we need to be kind to because it's just this child that's expressing itself, you know, uh, and, and the soul is, uh, is ancient, but, you know, it's, it's, it's also, you know, a child at heart. So, um, you know, try to listen to that voice. And so there's an inner stillness that I gotta listen to. Uh, and so we leave it, we leave it despite despite that anxiety and that fear and that doubt and all that sort of stuff. Um, and we show something uh, that we are uncomfortable with, but it's challenging. I think that's, you know, part of what makes it, what makes it art. You know, we talk about fake art and people say this, say, you know, this is, this, you know, he makes it in two seconds and it doesn't really count, doesn't make art, doesn't count as art. Um, well, that's, that's fine and everything, um, you know, I can speak for myself and I can say that, you know, this is a challenge, I'm challenging myself here and hopefully challenging you. That's the role, the responsibility of art is to change how we think. I'm trying to express beauty and, and passion and, and, uh, and try to inspire and try to do that in ways that, uh, might be outside of my comfort zone. Uh, you know, that's how I got here in the first place was stepping outside my comfort zone. So who am I to, to stay there, right? It's my, it's, it's, it's the role of the artist to, to step into, into the unknown and step into fear and step into, you know, and engage with, with, uh, you know, and respond to, to, to negativity and your own, your own negativity, not just, uh, not just the negativity of others, but by your, your, the voice inside your head. And so we're keeping this and, um, and we're going to let it, we're going to give it time, you know, to express itself. There's something being said here that, um, you know, means time to say. This is the ninth palette in the Color Therapy collection. The palette is white, Naples yellow, lemon butter, ivory, beige, aqua, and teal.
This is the 10th palette of the Color Therapy Collection. Let's check it out. The palette is turmeric, transparent yellow, lemon butter, caramel, orange, fluorescent blue, fluorescent orange, and fluorescent yellow. Okay, this is the palette number 11. We're just uh, quickly checking the level before we begin. The colors are white, fluorescent tangerine, fluorescent orange, bright red, coral, transparent red, aqua, bright blue, and ultraviolet. Our palette is got white, red, transparent red, magenta, fluorescent red, burnt scarlet, lavender, bright blue, and teal.
As the color therapy collection continues, we are now moving into the 13th palette, which is the brown palette. Let's check it out. White, warm brown, dark brown, beige, ivory, red oxide, aqua, pastel brown, neutral gray, and black. Well, my camera died, so uh, I just uh, had to film it here with the, my phone for the rest of it, so I'm just going to keep going. This is the 14th palette of the Color Therapy Collection. As the collection comes to its completion, we are going to be moving into uh, the monochromatic black and white, and that will be the end of Color Therapy Phase 1. This is the 15th palette of the Color Therapy Collection, and the palette is black and white. This is the 16th palette in the Color Therapy Collection and also the final painting in Color Therapy Phase 1. The palette is white to black in a gradient of grays.
Color therapy phase one is complete. Wow, what a journey. Thank you for all your input, sharing your emotions, and a sold out show. Can't believe it. So appreciative of the support, making the world a more colorful place. Now that it's all done, uh, we're gonna go into phase two, but before we do that, I'm proud to announce that we are going to do a print release. This date is still TBD, so please just sit tight for that. But all 16 paintings from Color Therapy Phase 1 will be released shortly. In the meantime, I'm providing some free screensavers, lock screens. Check it out.